I'm Wolf Blitzer. You're in the Situation Room. This is CNN Breaking News. But let's get to some breaking news right now. The United States about to deploy troops to Africa at a time when U.S. forces are already strained. Uh, so is the Pentagon's budget. A brand new U.S. military mission is unfolding right now in a very, very dangerous part of the world. We're talking about Central Africa, where some U.S. ground forces already have landed in Uganda. Our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr, is joining us uh, with more on what's going on. A lot of people are surprised to see the Obama administration make this major decision. Uh, Barbara, what's going on? Wolf, this is a very dangerous new mission for U.S. Special Forces in this part of Africa. The Pentagon says they are going to be fully equipped to take on whatever comes their way. President Obama is sending 100 combat-equipped troops to Central Africa to advise local forces on getting rid of one of the continent's most vicious operatives, Joseph Kony, the head of the Lord's Resistance Army, a group responsible for atrocities across the region. It's the first open deployment of U.S. ground combat power to Africa since the Black Hawk Down incident in Somalia in the 1990s that killed 18 troops. U.S. troops may wind up now in Uganda, South Sudan, the Central African Republic, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's part of a growing military effort to engage in Africa. And so our presence on the African continent is part of our network of building partners, of, of gaining intelligence. Still, General Martin Dempsey, chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, warns current budget cuts could risk it all at a time when the threat to Americans is rising. General Carter Hamm oversees all U.S. military operations on the continent. His major worry, al-Qaeda in Africa's threat to Americans. Right now, he says, al-Qaeda groups in Somalia as well as Algeria, Mali and Nigeria are trying to join forces. At least the stated intent for those organizations to, to collaborate and synchronize, which, which if they are able to do so, would establish an extremist link network, if you will, that would extend from Somalia across the north into the Sahel and then into West Africa. And that network would be very dangerous, not only to us as Americans, but clearly to the Africans as well. General Ham, along with the Central Intelligence Agency, is focused on targeting the militant al-Shabaab group in Somalia, which is recruiting American Somalis for terrorist training. There are very clearly some number, smaller number, of camps where there is the, pres there is the presence of foreign fighters. Um, w I believe there is an intent to train foreign fighters for external operations, both in Africa and in Europe and potentially back to the United States. Now, Wolf, well, these troops on their way to Central Africa that the White House has announced, the White House is adamant they are military advisors only, advising African military forces on how to hunt down this man. But you and I both know military advisory operations wolf can suddenly take any turn any at any point wolf. this is one of the most dangerous parts of africa right now and a lot of americans are going to be asking a question why is the united states sending these ground combat forces to advise these africans in this long-running battle why aren't other africans doing it or why aren't the europeans coming in to try to get the job done why does the united states always have to send in its own ground forces to deal with a very dangerous situation like this well, you know, Wolf, the U.S. Special Forces, especially U.S. Green Berets, have a very long-standing uh, uh, effort in Africa, actually along with the French uh, forces, to uh, train African military forces and get them up to speed uh, to do this sort of thing. But it has gotten to the point where this man who heads this uh, militant movement in Africa is responsible for thousands of, r of atrocities against African civilians. Uh, there has been a decision to go after him, but it will depend on many African nations being willing to accept these U.S. forces and being willing to accept the help. Make no mistake, it is a very dangerous, 
very sensitive mission that they are undertaking. Yeah, it reminds me uh, of some of the most dangerous missions in, in Africa, Black Hawk Down in Somalia. A lot of our viewers will remember that. We're going to stay on top of this story. We're getting reaction. Spoke to Senator John McCain a little while ago, the ranking member of the uh, Senate Armed Services Committee. He's got his own reservations that he's expressing already. Uh, we'll stay on top of this, Barbara. Thank you.